Welcome to episode one of the Real Estate Insider. In this weekly video, I'm going to talk to you all about the Edmonton real estate market, and it's going to be very specific topics each time. This video today, for example, is going to be specifically on the city of Edmonton detached single family homes. I have some questions that have been asked to me, and I'm sure that you also want answers to those questions. So let's get started. Okay, so a lot of speculation, inflation, interest rates are rising. Has this affected the Edmonton real estate market? We know we've been seeing or hearing from other markets, things have been dropping, but have they affected Edmonton? Well, you're going to find out in this video. So just one second. There are a couple questions that I think you probably have, as I've had these from other people, we're going to answer in this video. So they are, what have home prices done so far in 2022? And are home prices going to go up or down the rest of 2022? Pretty good questions, and I'm sure you want answers. And I just have my basically best guess for the second one. The first one is based on data, so there's no guessing there. We're gonna be using average sold prices from the MLS, um, and we're gonna compare against a couple peak years. So 2007, 2017, last year, all compared to this year. So you can see how single family homes have actually risen. So let's check that out. Here we go. So 2007. 419,000. This was actually like a huge jump between 2006 and 2007. Um, but I didn't give you the 2006 data. So sorry about that. Um, and we didn't really see any like drastic increases. 2015 was pretty high. Then 2017 was another peak. And we saw the average sold prices um, up at 449,000. Then 2021 was a really great year, uh, as most sellers would know, and buyers also know it was harder to get a house. So we saw prices at 417000 and now 2022 has been so stressful for buyers. Even sellers, like dealing with multiple offers is never easy, and our average sold price is up to 502000 That's crazy high, but I mean, as you'll see. It's not high compared to some places. It's high for Edmonton. It's a new high for Edmonton. So let's see what else has happened in the market. Yes. Above list price. 54% of homes that have sold this year on average. Or was it just last month? Sorry. 54% last month. The month of May or April, the month of April, yes, because today's May, we don't get the data till June. So in April, we saw 54% of homes selling above list price. Now that was down actually just a little bit from March where we saw 56%, uh, but from January to March, it was steep, a steep incline of home selling above list. And if you're in the market during that time, trying to buy a house is pretty stressful. And uh, maybe a little bit annoying that you go in, it seems like there's one or two offers. And by the time everybody submits, there's like 26 offers selling way above list price. Um, frustrating for buyers. But, you know, for sellers, we haven't had this um, opportunity to have an increase in prices since basically 2017. So, you know, it's more of a market correction than really a bubble especially once you see the next slides. Okay, so moving on. Are home prices going to go up or down in the rest of 2022? Well, I don't have a crystal ball, so it's my best guess. As I said earlier, it's important to note that homes in Edmonton are on sale. Seriously, on sale. Like you're getting big homes, single family detached homes, front attached garages. 
you know, between four and six hundred thousand dollars. That's such a great price. I think we still have room to move up. I don't really see us going back down, to be honest. And why that is, is because we are highly driven by builders inventory here in Edmonton. Unlike a lot of cities that can't expand or grow out and um, have new lot, like many new lots to provide to people that are shopping. Uh, here we have that ability. We still have capacity to expand the city. I'll do a future video on where the city is expanding. So you can see we do have some limitations and we might reach a limitation in the future where we're going to see less elasticity in our market. Anyway, where was I going with this? Are homes going to go up or down? I think they are probably going to increase slightly or stay flat. The reason that is, is because of the rates. The rates, if they were lower, I still think we would be, continue to see a drastic increase in home prices, but uh, the rates really hinder people's purchasing power. And even if our home prices are a lot lower than other places, still, you know, 500000 isn't anything to shake. Like, it's, it's, it's a lot of money. But the one good thing about it is you don't have to be house poor here at Edmonton. You're able to still get a fairly nice home and be able to afford other luxuries of living like travel and vacations, which is great. Okay, so... Let's look at the rest of Canada. So if we're comparing Edmonton home prices across Canada, uh, we can see that this is from the Korea website. Um, BC on average for single family detached homes, a million dollars. That's like double here. Yeah, and uh, that's, that's crazy. Look at Ontario. Really, you're not doing much better. What, you're saving $80,000? Grand scheme of things, you come to Edmonton and you're going to be saving anywhere from like 400 to 500,000. Yeah, so are home prices going to go down? I don't think so. Like maybe in those provinces, home prices are going to go down, but definitely not going down here. So, what are we seeing? What we're seeing is fewer multiple offers. There are still specific homes in specific areas that are getting multiple offers. But Edmonton and area is very segmented. So a blanket statement for what's happening in the market here, like saying it's a seller's market or a buyer's market, is too broad for Edmonton because there are so many different styles of homes, ages of homes, areas that it's not definitely not happening across the city. But if you're looking for something newer, like newer than two, like year 2000, detached single family home between four and 600,000, you're still going to be in a fairly competitive market. So that wraps up today's episode. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have and you want to continue to see these weekly episodes, click that subscribe button right there. No, it's on the screen somewhere. And give me a thumbs up. <laughs> Share this video with your friends. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.